is Howard Rutley Walker. I'm a photographer and I'm going to be the featured artist in an upcoming exhibit at Imago Gallery. Uh, the exhibit is called Japan Inside Outside and I'm being paired with our featured guest artist Itsuo Kiritani. We're doing this video at uh, the Blythewold Gardens in Bristol, Rhode Island. Uh, in this particular spot is the Japanese garden. In uh, thinking about the video, I actually started thinking back to when I was in high school and became interested in Japanese art and the Japanese visual aesthetic. I uh, was uh, taking an art course and for extra credit we were allowed to uh, do something that was related to art. I started watching a series on Japanese brush paintings on uh, the Chicago Educational Channel, WTTW back then, and uh, did a report ab about that. But I became fascinated by the way in which the Japanese art captures uh, very complex phenomenon, but in very simple, uncomplex, defined ways. Uh, a little bit later, I uh, started getting interested in uh, also in the visual aesthetic through Japanese films, um, the uh, uh, samurai films, and even the uh, contemporary films uh, that were done kind of neorealism after World War II, uh, which again kind of look at at the images in in the, and the complexities of relationships but very simply. The exhibit is called Japan Inside Outside and it's an opportunity to have my images contrast with the work of our guest Itsuo Kiritani because Itsuo captures the fascinating aspect of Japan's street scenes, uh, particularly the scale of the more traditional architecture, whereas my images are looking more at uh, architectural detail and also the uh, subtleties and the, uh, especially uh, what I would hope to, to focus on is the serenity of J uh, Japanese interiors. One of the things that's always fascinated me about the Japanese visual aesthetic is that there's the sets of rules and formalisms. The Japanese have names for all kinds of things and principles that have been evolved over the years for their architecture, for their gardens. And from a photographer's point of view, it's very interesting because they, these rules and, and formalisms affect the way you see things, but they don't necessarily determine how you see them. Uh, what they do, and what I found, is they really encourage you to keep looking, that uh, almost with every step you take, instead of having something that's unchanging, the environments really ask you to constantly look around, uh, sometimes even to turn 360 degrees, because on a, at any particular step you're going to be seeing something very different. And uh, to me, that's very exhilarating. I've been lucky to be able to pursue this interest in the Japanese visual aesthetic with a couple of trips to Japan, the most recent in 2015 when we went to visit some Japanese friends, uh, but also to do some exploring in the country. This allowed me to go uh, to see some things that we had visited before, such as uh, the city of Kyoto, which has changed tremendously in the uh, 40 some years since the last time I was there. Uh, and. Um, and also some uh, new areas. Uh, one of the things that we were very lucky to do because it was springtime was to follow the blossoming of the uh, cherry trees, uh, which is a big event in, in Japan. So uh, one of the scenes that, uh, or images that I captured is uh, actually uh, what you see with the cherry blossoms, uh, not so much in the trees in this, the, image that I'm exhibiting, but um, as the blossoms fall, they create what I saw as uh, snow on the ground. 
Another image I have is a close-up of the hand of the largest indoor Buddha in the world, uh, which is located in Nara, just south of Kyoto. And one of the things that you see are the, uh, is the Japanese use of uh, parts of the natural environment, such as uh, water lilies and blossoms, to surround objects of reverence with uh, things that are seen as kind of the creations of, of um, the, the natural world. Uh, one of the other things that fascinates me in uh, J the Japanese visual aesthetic is the way in which the Japanese relate the interior to the exterior. So some of the images that I have are uh, from inside a room but uh, using the views that are created uh, by uh, open doors or windows to relate the inside to the outside uh, to kind of bridge the gap between the very immediate of the inside and the kind of images that Itsuo is representing with his street scenes. This has been a fun project for me because it's kind of spurred a couple of things. One is that uh, what I'm exhibiting is a little more straight photography for me, not as much of the kind of editing and digital compositions that I usually do. Uh, but it also is kind of inspiring me to go back and look at some of my images of street scenes and to try to either um, maybe even make them a little more monochromatic or to try to capture some of the qualities that uh, of the Japanese street life that I photographed that uh, I also find interesting and that uh, has been very appealing to me by looking at the work that Itsuo is going to exhibit.